Hey guys, this is PCRT. Today we are going to make this Lego crash scene in Blender with a little bit of help from Blender scripting. So let's get started. So first thing we need to download this 3D model from sketchfab.com. I will put this link in the description. Make sure to download the GLTF format. Now let's import it in Blender. GLTF. Select your scene.glTF. Give it some time. Now it's done. It's actually right here. Since it has some orientation matrix that we don't need, open it, select all the mesh, control X, drag it out. To the collection, hit M to new collection, Lego card, move to the new collection, and we don't need this now. Delete, delete again, delete again, right click, select object, scale it up. Control A, apply rotation, apply scale. Good. Let's turn this into a floor plane. Scale Y axis. X a little bit. Right. Control X, scale. It's OK. Now we need to add something that car the Lego car can crush. Okay, let's move this back a little bit. I'm gonna use a UV sphere. Scale it up a little bit. W shade smooth. Now save the scene. Let's import a environment map. Choose an HDR. I will use, I'll just choose some random one. Okay. Split the view, split it horizontal again. I will hit T. I will turn this into a preview window. Tap on zero to go to camera view and uh, put it right here. Right, I think the environment environment map is a little bit strong change to 0.6 and let's turn on some ambient occlusion settings get it up a little bit screen space reflections i need this refraction why not select your floor plane and uh, I'm sorry. Turn down the roughness. Add a little bit of metallic. Why not? Specular. 
why not? Just like this. Okay. This is the this is the final scene setup. I think the floor plane is a little bit of a small. Scale it up. Great. Now let's turn this window to Python scripting window. Oh, we need a text editor. Great. Tap on a new. Now before we start to scripting, I did scale this egg shape a little bit taller so that we can crash into it. And then the next thing we go to scene tab, rigid body world. We add a rigid button world and leave the rest as default for now. And then select the floor and shift select this egg. Control A. Oh, Control J to combine them together. Now it's a one piece here. Control A, apply the scale. And let's go to physics tab. Add a rigid body. Ooh, already added. Add a rigid body and don't forget to change this shape to mesh. And now let's let's process the Lego call. Right click on this collection, hit select objects, hit control A, apply the scale. There is one problem we need to fix before we start scripting. Right click on this piece, we can see the original point of this piece is at the bottom of the car, which is not what we want. If we're rotating, it'll just rotate around this center, which is so weird. Now we can go here, object, set origin, origin to geometry to solve that problem but we wanted to solve this in script so let's start scripting make sure to select your Lego car let's import BPY first and now let's save all the selected pieces <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's loop through the selected object. And next, we are going to set its origin to geometry. Actually, we can go here to see at the bottom line it says we can call bpy.ops.object.origin set type equals to origin geometry. That's why we turn that turn on that Python tooltips in settings. Let's keep counting. We'll print this information into consoles. Hit Control S, save it. Let's turn on console. This is the console. Let's hit run. Let's go back to console. It's processing all the pieces. It's done, it's done. Now let's see. It's done. Great. Next, let's comment this. Hit control slash. What we're going to do is that we are going to add a keyframe here. Let's set current object to active 
make sure to select Lego car, set current piece to active so we can change the property of it. Then we will add a rigid body to it. Change the type to active. And then we will change the shape to mesh. Basically, it's the same if you if you go down here change type to active and change shape to mesh but we are gonna loop through all the objects so we don't need to select each piece and do the same exactly the same thing then we will change kinematic to true basically if kinematic is true that means it's animated by the keyframes. Now we add a keyframe about kinematic in information, this checkbox information. Rigid body kinematic. This means that we add a Key notice that here frame will set it to current frame, which is here zero. And we'll also add a location keyframe, which is here. Data path will be location. Frame is still current. Now let's run the code, select your collection. Now it's done. Each piece will have a yellow dot here. That means it has a keyframe information. Let's select it again. Go to frame 10. And uh, somehow it's at the bottom. I don't know why. Maybe this thing has a keyframe animation. Oh, I'm sorry. One more thing we need to change is that we will change this rigid body type to passive. That means we don't that means we don't want this floor to move. Okay, fix that. Go to frame ten seven. Oh seven, go to top view, select again. Make sure, move to here, good, good, it's okay. Make sure they don't overlap. Now, the only thing we need to change is this kinematic, we will change to false. Since we already have this information, we don't need to add another rigid body. The keyframe will also insert two keyframes. The first one is kinematic information. 
which means this one. Oh, it doesn't have it here. I don't know why. Okay, and another one is location. Location here. All right, let's run it again. It's done. Now let's go to physics tab. We will change the frame end to 100. And we will have bit. And I'll be back when it's done. All right, so the baking is done. Let's go back to frame zero and uh, let's take a look at it. Shift so zero, shift space. Now, as you can see, there's one problem. There's one problem. It has a lot of overlapping happening over here. And a little bit shaky here. Basically, it's just overlapping problem. We can fix this by we can fix this by going to the scene tab, and we will change steps per second. I think let's change to 160. And then and another problem is that on my computer it takes more than you know I think more than 15 or 20 minutes to bake the physics animation we will we will lower that time here let's let's control slash comment this code and then let's loop it again make sure to select everything select every piece of the Lego car and what we're going to do is that we are going to change collision margin to zero. Well, obviously, this is not recommended in the Blender documentation, but it just works faster on my computer. And we will change the friction to 0 0.5. Of course, you don't need to change this to make it work. It just works. Um, it just bakes faster on my computer. Now, don't forget to select your Lego car and hit Run to apply the property to it. I think it's done. Now, let's hit Bake again. Delete first. Bake baking is done faster than the last time let's hit shift space take a look at it I think this time is better than the last time now let's render it out to see the final result alright this is the final render result I'll see you next time